a lot of women are single today because God have actually sent their husband, but he was a married man. My name is Asitonka Agri Abba and the channel is called Asi Darling because I'm such a damn. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Asi Darling. Thank you guys so much for clicking. Once again, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. And to all my OGs, you know what to do. Comment down below. Let me know, gang, gang. Now, welcome to yet another episode of Wedding Reaction. Man, as long as man, woman, and relationship and love matter is concerned, it is a never ending episode. And of course, the mic is here. Amen. <laughs> I've always wanted this kind of setup and shout out to my guy Kojo Sheldon because when I saw his set I was like this is exactly what I want so shout out to you for this. Alright guys so let's get right into the first clip. If there's anything I understand about God is that God works in mysterious ways. A lot of women are single today because God have actually sent their husband but he was a married man. Now please before you judge me listen. When a man marries a woman that is not his soulmate, the day he meets you that is his soulmate, there will be trouble in that marriage. And sometimes they have seen cases where a man refused to give a woman divorce, where a woman refused to give a man divorce. Now my question to you is, if that man finds somebody who gives him peace, who gives him joy, who is ready to be with, you will now tell the person that you can't be with him because you don't want to be a side chick. Many of you are still single because you are not sensitive to what I'm talking Talking about if your destiny is written that you will marry a man that has been married before and you are saying you don't want it you will remain single I'm not cursing you it's a fact so your sensitivity to know as long as the man is transparent and honest follow that man and enjoy your life shall I they pay you why are you like this so the video you just watched is a video of an apostle advocating for side chicks let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And somebody that tagged me on this thing, she said, Asi, please come and see. We have found you, Le Duchess Pastor. I died of laughter because there, there is no true word. It just seemed like this guy went to you, Le Duchess, um, old post when he was justifying his marriage with Judy and took his sermon from that post. Because what is this? That if you miss your husband simply because he's married, you would have, you'll be single forever. Like that is the ultimate sin. At this point, I don't think he should even call himself an apostle. That's... That for me is an insult. He's not an apostle of what? In my opinion, I still stand by it. Like, if you meet your quote unquote husband and he's married or unhappy in his marriage or about to leave the marriage, why don't you wait? Let him end whatever it is he, he has with whoever he's, he's married to. Wait till that is over before you come on board. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I, I don't feel like people should keep finding ways to justify this whole thing. I know that there are some religions that permit polygamy. But when it comes to husband and wife, I feel like you should respect each other when you get to the point where you need side chick, you need second or third. Why not tell your wife? So that in case she needs side husband or she needs second husband, she said she can start making arrangements. <laughs> Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. But this was... It's a shocking way to start. Let's get to the second this one. A friend of mine called me complain. She just got married. She got married like last two months. So she she called like Rose. I don't tire. I don't tire. Rose, Rose, Rose. I'm tired. Like I cannot skip this again. I say waiting happen. She's um a less. She's a lesbian, but she tried to use bisexual to confuse her father, not me. When she wanted to get married, I thought I like is your husband aware? Does he know like that you eat and? She said, ah, don't worry that he knows he has been seeing you with girls that he, he that he's supposed to know now that she's sure the husband is going to allow her have a two ways, you understand? So now she said the husband is not buying to that and she's tired, she cannot hide it. You know what you have, you know your sexuality. You Once to go and hide on that marriage. Now she's like it's like she's going to leave. It's God not going to her after the guy has spent a whole lot of money on wedding. She wants to leave now. Hey, wonder shall never end. Now, this second one is about a story of a lesbian that said to quit her marriage. Now, I have nothing against the LGBTQ people as long as it's what they want for themselves. My only line is when abroad people try to put it and push it on children. That's my line. If you want it for yourself, it's fine. I have nothing against them. But I don't feel like we should be deceiving people. There are lots of people that are going down the marriage route 
just as a face to cover up for what they do behind closed doors. You know fully well you're not into ladies or you're not into guys. Why are you? Why will you deceive somebody's child like that? Some of these weddings, according to the video, they spend millions. You were so in love. You, you wrote fantastic vows at the end of the day. Is this even a story? I don't get it. Granted, there are some families, there are some, there are some um, husbands that don't mind. I'm telling you the truth. Some husbands literally do not mind. They know that their wife is probably bi or something. I don't know whether they find it as a point of... I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Because some people just be like, eh, that's nothing. Like you can literally... If you cheat with a guy, they might kill you. They might go bonkers. But then they hear that their wife cheats with a fellow lady and it's a forgivable thing. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but... Maybe that's why, because a lot of people see it as a phase for women or kind of exploring. You don't see it as something that can be like a full sexual orientation. That's why you would see somebody that has this sexual orientation and still go ahead and marry her, hoping that she would change or something. Do you understand? So that's my own thoughts. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section as we get to the next <laughs>we had single ladies storm a church in their wedding gowns you know praying and i feel like this was like what a prophetic instruction full wedding gown and um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below also for this particular one um in my opinion eh, i don't feel we should laugh at them everybody do what your faith can carry when i was teaching you go to church and somebody might say okay bring fruits as a form of um, fruitfulness um, somebody might say, okay, bring them baby clothes. You buy baby clothes in faith. Many people have done certain things in faith. You're, you're looking for a job. You start buying the clothes for the job in faith. So it's almost the same thing. They are wearing their wedding gowns in faith. It takes a lot. So I don't feel like anybody should laugh at their belief or whatever. I feel um, everybody should be respectful, uh, respectful of that. Many of us are looking for different things and we have different methods of praying for it, you know, and this might just be their method. But guys, let me know your thoughts. Uh, like I always say, I mean, I don't know it all, though. You can always let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Let's get to the next one. <laughs> Yes. Alright, so this fourth one is actually a funny video. A guy is seen in that clip hitting his sister's ex because Insta blog had written it like his ex, but somebody, I, I feel like um, somebody commented that he's speaking Chui, which is a Ghanaian language, and he's basically confronting the guy that he, he promised his own sister marriage and now he's about to marry somebody else. And he was slapping the guy's hand um, from his um, new wife's body or something like that. I, it was just funny. I know it's Cruz. But seriously, guys, like you promise one person marriage and you go and marry another person. You know, sometimes when you promise and you break people's hearts, you don't just break their hearts. Many family members are most times invested in this your relationship. You have found a brother that likes you. You have found father and mother. You know, when mothers now like your boyfriend, that's why a lot of ladies do not even like to bring guys to their house unless they are sure that this is the one they are marrying because some mothers will just fall in love with the guy that even when the relationship doesn't work they have found a a new son that they will still be sending whatsapp message and prayer to and all of that it can be weird it can be weird because you break up with somebody you almost break up with the entire family and everybody has their own level of heartbreak i've been a breakfast i've been a reaction so you have younger sisters or younger brothers that maybe they are used to you coming around they form the bond with you maybe that's this case let me know your thoughts in the comment section once again let's get to the next <laughs>
this one, a couple cut short their ceremony to join the rally. It's a political rally for Peter Obi. Those of you that are not Nigerians, he's coming out for president. And they basically said, my future and the future of my children first. Wedding can wait. And they joined in. It was quite a funny and cute thing to see. Maybe they were coming from court and they were already done and just said, in, in fact, no need to go home and change. They just need to join the rally. What are your thoughts on this? It's just fun. I um, Not everybody will say, ah, my big day, I can't do it. Well, just allow people that want to do it. There's no, it's not that deep. You understand? It's not that deep. Everybody has their own way of, um, of um, joining in or supporting, as the case may be. Would you want to do that for your big day? Like, you hear there's a la rally or something. Let's say the both of them have finished everything they're coming from their their event and then they basically come down from the car and say let's just join this rally no need to go home it's going to be fun with our wedding gown it's going to be memorable some people are spontaneous like that and i don't see anything wrong with it um do you know that sometimes um on your wedding day you might encounter one kind of terrible traffic so terrible that you will need to literally come down and use bike it has happened a lot in lagos and that's why most times it's advisable to have a hotel that is near the church that is near the event center and you're, you're not stuck in traffic for one thing or the other. But that's quite cute. All right, let's get to the next video. All right, so this particular post, um, they say a couple insist on cash only um, for their wedding so they can make, um, to enable them have down payments for a house. Um, I've done several weddings where they insist on cash only, and that's maybe because um, the couples are not based in Nigeria. They are based abroad. You understand so they insist on cash only because you cannot carry deep freeze and baby things and put inside plane because you married so they insist on cash only to go abroad so for for this one i don't think this is a nigerian wedding it's abroad and it makes sense instead of buying like 42 blender and 30 microwave if you can give them chipping whatever it is and they gather it and they can make the down payment on the house that would be for a good cause and i feel like this wedding looks like it was a simple wedding you know that most times uh, when People estimate the amount of money we spend as wedding guests. I don't attend too many weddings because luckily for me, I'm a planner. So I attend to do the function. But if you have so many friends, the costs, your budget costs for weddings will skyrocket. I'm telling you the truth. You are Shwebi. Yesterday I was with Sotonye. I did a video. That video is going to be coming up today um, where we're talking about the whole IVD um, um, situation. So when you're watching this, no, I filmed it today. Um, it dropped today. Um, when we, I was talking with her and she said there's also another Ashwebi. Ashwebi is of 35,000. If you want to sew it, it might be amount around the same price. So we are talking 70,000 now. Your makeup, let's say 15,000. So 85,000. Your gele. Let's even say gele is free. You know, one thing or the other, you spend, and let's say you spray money, 100k or less on a normal day for each wedding you need to attend. It's a lot. And commitment in terms of traveling to their village, if you need to travel or going out of state, there's a lot that goes into weddings. So sometimes it's even best as a couple, if you tell your friend, see, it's not that deep. I'm going to do this wedding. I love you. I know that you're here for me. You're going to show up and everything. But see, some of you might not need, because I find, I always tell, I'm, and I'm very plain, and that's because, of course, I'm a wedding planner. I tell people, some of your friends that you bring in, for just two days in Nigeria, they've never been to Nigeria, they are jet lagged the two days, the next thing they know they're on a plane going back to the US. They don't have any Nigerian experience. They came in tired and imagine you're not used to the brouhaha of Lagos, you come in and suddenly everybody's walking at a fast pace, they are shouting, there's too much dancing. It's a lot to take in as a wedding guest. Some of these people are even better off just sending you money. So that you can have down payment and when you go back abroad, you organize a dinner where they can dance and laugh and be happy. I get that, yes, some of you might be upset that your friends cannot make it down. But look on the bright side, you understand? If that person can even contribute some of the money they would have used for your hotel and whatever, you can use it for whatever you want to plan for. I know that it's not everybody that is looking for money, I'm just saying. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and let's get to the next one. All right, guys, we are going to end on a fantastic note. And that is because there's rejoicing in the atmosphere. You know, the video recently, and Chichi, our Auntie Chichi came out and they have been peppering us with their love. This is one sheep, eh? I'm telling you, Nigerians will not forgive Desmond Elliott. Nigerians will not forgive you, Ledoche. But you see, Davido, you see Chioma, as they came back, everybody's like, yeah, that's our sheep. That's. <laughs> You see, Nigerians are undefeated. So, the video recently asked a car dealer by 2 a.m. that he needs to buy Chomaji um, wagon. And then somebody was like, hmm, 
the sex must have been good. You you are chatting a car dealer two a.m. Bro, so the video wrote like, man, the internet is undefeated, and a lot of people were like trying to anchor with that person that wrote the tweet. That man, you have a point though. Right now, um, Sierra's prayer is secondary. Everybody is asking for Chioma's uh, stew recipe. I heard this is it's a particular stew that is giving us jiwa go. <laughs> so Chioma, our our chef chi. If you can share your stew recipe with uh, consigned Nigerians, not that we want to use it, though. we just need it because, I mean, we need to just have it. Uh, yes, let's just have your stew recipe. Okay, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed it. Which particular story resonated more with you? I would say the first one, that side chick one, I'm like, what is this? And then, man, see, that one just threw me off. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as usual, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have watched to this point, please give this video a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my other videos, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys!